going to be out with Carlos Perez David, which was one of the, cre he was in the team of creating the Apple logo. Mm, yeah. And he was born in Mexico. He's from oh, El wow. DF. Wow. And cool. he immigrated over here um, in the 60s with his mom and his brother because the mom was trying to find them a better education. And he came here not knowing the language, not understanding, wow. like, culture shock. He was 10 years old when he came here. Y dice que it was, it was a lot to deal with, but he always remembered what his mom's mission was. And being now, you know, he's 60-something or 70-something, and ahora dice que, you know, looking back, everything that he's accomplished... Because it's not, you yeah. know, it, it, Apple is very well known, but he has designed like awards that have been received by Selena, by Jose Jose, Laura Leon. Wow. Like he's designed That's so, so cool. many stuff as a graphic designer, you know? And I'm like, yeah, this kid that at 10 years old, like he didn't yeah. even know his life completely changed and he took that for the good. And how many of us that are actually born here and that can do stuff like that? we don't take advantage of those resources that we have yeah i think a lot of it comes down to um but that's a cool story by his name is carlos right by carlos yeah and i think the reason why especially immigrants um tend to su succeed is because of that uh that feeling like you don't belong the feeling like you need to be successful in order to belong Mm -hmm. And whatever field that is, even if it's starting a construction company. And so I think the people who are citizens sometimes don't know what that feels like or don't or can't become essentially that is because they haven't been through what that hardship looks like. Yes. You know, because it's, it's very hard, like you said, culture shock, growing up and, and dreaming of starting something, but you can't, you know, getting shut down. Mm -hmm. 